How are you doing today, Warren? So the last time we played, you guys successfully helped defend Greenest against a dragon attack. And yeah, you, you fought off fought off a, a huge blue dragon. Managed to make it get annoyed and fly away. And then uh, Roland went into single combat with a, uh, a very small blue dragon that was also a man. And uh, did not turn out very well for him, but he's okay. And that's when they left. And so now the uh, the governor of the town, Mr. Nighthill, has asked you to investigate the cult and find out some information about them, so that they can uh, better prepare if they intend to come back again. Very cool. Well, so we were able to to cure to hear to to heal him up and uh, get him prepared for another battle. Is that correct? Or we had a they full day's like rest. To, um, uh, yeah, you guys have had uh, a long rest. Okay, cool. And the the governor would like to know what the 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 raiders are planning, so that they can they can react to it quicker. Um, since I only happen. sleep four hours, can I have gone back into the town? Into the into the what, sorry? Into the town and help people. Uh, you were knocked unconscious from the fight with uh, the blue half dragon, so you would have had rested for about the same time as everyone else. Oh, okay. I thought they healed me. Yeah, but you are uh, you were still unconscious. They just stabilized you and patched your wounds. Gotcha. He was looking so peaceful, we didn't want to, um, um, interrupt you. I know you're cute when you sleep, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> you drool so perfectly. Right? <laughs> so, um, are we going to try to track down these villains who invaded this town, or are we going to stay where we are here? How do we propose to find them to help this town rectify this wrong that happened? I presume they've sold many of the town's resources too since they were here. Yeah, I say we have them up. <laughs> uh, what is this? What is this "f them up" phrase you speak of? So, I'm not so the plan is uh, to go and get them. Yes, yeah. I say okay. we get them. Very well. Yeah. F him up. Come on. F him up. Might I propose uh, we killed several of the cultists that we uh, donned their garb and tried to find their camp and infiltrate so oh, what's going the on. Thinker. He's the thinker. Were, any, the group. <clears throat> were there any of the uh, cultists in town that were perhaps not dead that we could interrogate? Did they capture any? Did the, the town guard or whatever happen to capture any? Uh, we we had intended to, but uh, they they left before any of our men could get any. Uh, we were going to ask you to, but uh, everything happened so quickly. I see. I turned to the mayor. Any uh any of the uh, attackers captured by your men? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, we we there are many corpses though. If you'd like to take some of their gear, we can also no, I... provide you with some of our own if you need it. it... Do they do they wear cowls or anything like that? Is there part of are they in a uniform? It looks like we could. It it's like a take. black uh black leather armor, and they have like a, a a thin black cape that drapes over the top of it. 
Yeah, I'll snag one of the capes if I can. I'm not gonna. I like my armor. I I kind of raise my arms out to the side and I think we'll need a tailor. I don't think there's going to be anything that fits me. <laughs> well, I think um, you're the best suited towards that task, don't you think? You whip us up a sewing machine. Right. Let me see what's in my pocket. Ah. Sunshine. Dirty whiskey in here. Wow, sunshine. You got sunshine in my pocket. I like that. <laughs> I have a fire starter. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> how about we? Uh, how about we figure out what we need to track these these villains down? Where yeah, so he? is this a known group? Do you have any idea, Mr. Mayor, what direction uh, they could be in? Or do we just, uh, like, throw a dart at the map? Well, they they headed off to the south from what we saw. There was quite a lot of them, and I don't, I don't think it'll be very hard to track them. As, okay. Indeed. Which one of you are the, the tracker of the group? Mm, would not be me. Absolutely not me. That would be you. That would naturally not be you. Okay. Very, very clear. <laughs> not me. How's that? Right. Okay. I'm a, a dwarf pretty low to the ground, so I can try. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think... I My think only. that was a short joke right. in there at my expense somewhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty I, I, sure. I think you had too many spirits, my friend. Pretty Out sure the proximity to the ground doesn't really mean much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny as shit. Um, so do we do we actually have anybody with uh, like ranger type skills in the group? I know. Oh. Didn't I notice that there was a huge group that left town and they're didn't weren't trying to hide their prints or anything. Yeah, it was it was a very large group. It's pretty obvious where this leads to. Well, let's can, let's go. Can roll a, what do they use? What do rangers use for tracking? Usually, is it survival? Survival. survival. Yeah. Well, I, I I look at Roland. I go, oh, Roland, you're 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 an elf, right? Well, well, somebody wants to give me advantage. At 11 is enough. There's a, oh. there's a very obvious track leading out of town. Like, itself. Like That's what I've been saying. Sas Sasquatch's feet prints. There was a lot of them. <laughs> no, no, we must complicate this process. Uh, <laughs> but he's like, on the wrong side of town. Has anybody tried opening the door? <laughs> yes, Claire. It's not locked. You can go through. Not no, no, no. Check it for traps first. <laughs> Send back. All right. I see some tracks. I follow them. Yes, I, I, nomi I nominate Furry Bottoms. She looks like she has the, the right sniffer for it. He, as you guys are heading out of town, points to his furry bottom, reminds you he's a he. Uh, a uh, wounded yeah. looking he. monk approaches. Oh. Yes. Hello. Are you? How are you doing? Uh, I don't have a picture for you. With me. Uh, a young man walks up to you, limping heavily on his bandaged left leg. I hear that you intend to follow the raiders and see where they've gone. I'd like nothing better to come with you, but no, in this condition, I'd slow you down. <laughs> Indeed. Well, we yeah. have a very extensive uh, application process. Uh, <laughs> Simi, I don't like the sound are you, of that. Are you a good tracker? Uh, uh, I, I would be all right at it, I guess, but I'm in no position to, to travel anywhere right now. Oh, well. Well, I, I could hit up when you are. I'm kind of low on healing spells. and <laughs> um, uh, that, That's okay. Uh, so you, uh, so you why have, why have the... you come here? And what is your name again? Um, my name is Nessim Weladra. Okay, Nessim. You don't want me to call you. That's something to you. That's all it's fine, yes. Yeah. Uh, so why why have you come? My my master, Leosin Alantha, has gone missing in the in the raid. We believe he was either captured or tried to infiltrate the cultists. 
Sure, he didn't leave them here. Um, he w he has been investigating them for the past few months. If anyone knows anything about them, it's it's definitely him. His mm. information is is crucial. If How is can, that so? If you well, well, he knows he's been investigating them for months. He knows everything about them. I see. Uh, we we had we found this when we came to look for him in the morning. Uh, and he pulls out this broken staff and a choker, which looks uh, ragged on the end. It was it was torn off, roughly. And he always he always wore these on his person. I, I take a look at them. Do they look like they were forcibly removed or something? The the choker definitely looks like it was forcibly removed. The um, the, the staff is broken in in half down the center like it was it was shattered on some knee perhaps else. yeah maybe or perhaps on his head possibly is there any blood on it uh no there's no blood on it hmm. and so yeah, you think he was taken by the cultists you're saying yes We want to investigate his house, perhaps? His, his hovel, his home, his hut, his whatever it is? We all come from a town called Burdusk to the north of here. Uh, we were on our way home from Candlekeep at the, the Great Library. Yes, when I'm the familiar raiders with it. Attacked. Okay. Um, well, we, we think we have a very good idea where they went. So we were just about to head out. And yes, what is it, uh, what is his name again? And can you type that in the chat box for me? I say out of character. What can is you, a chat box? Can you write it on a stone <laughs> slab? <laughs> yeah, that's I, right. I have I have problem with your strange people's languages. And his okay. name was Leosin. Yeah. Oh, uh, Leosin is his is his master, and Nessim is his name. So his master is Nessim. No, or Leosin. No, Leosin. Oh. Okay. okay yes, well, oh. he's, he is. He is Nestle Quick. <laughs> Can you explain what he looks like to me again? So if we see him, oh no. Yes. Hang on, hang on a second. I'll type this up so that we don't get confused. So Leosin is master. He gives you a rough description. Nessim is the uh, pawn. Got it. As best he can. I have a picture here that I'll just show to you. Oh, wrong one. He has a color of this. Huh. Oh, he's a very dapper chap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. Hey. A lot, a lot thinner than I was imagining. He's having like a <laughs> <I> know, right? <laughs> I was expecting a bald, elderly man, no hair, you know. He is Kinda a half-elf, like you're correct. I was like, Claire, I was thinking of... he sounds like a half-elf, you know. Mm -hmm. He's got pointy ears just like me, except he's got a goatee. Elf. Hipster. You think he's good at tracking, too? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I think I think the the relativeness of tracking is uh, greatly persuaded by the uh, amount of point in your ear. You know, I I look directly at the kitty cat. Very pointy. So according to the dwarf, it's by height. It's by height. Yes, it is. Yes. So Nilsson, we we will look for your master, um, Leosin. Thank you. Anything uh, else? If, if he's short and pointy ears, then you're golden. <laughs> <laughs> the best tracker. Isn't that a gnome? Or a halfling? No. But yeah, mm, they have long noses. Does that count? Oh, maybe. Oh, good for smelling. Yeah. Yes. The lows of the ground. Gnomes that do have qualifies. pointy ears. I think. Hey. Oh, yeah. Lows gnomes of the ground, big ears. noses, pointed ears. They've got all the features they need to be a good tracker. There we go. Mm. <laughs> Scruffy just yeah. kind of gestures like how can you argue with that logic <laughs> I don't know how we got so derailed 
Um, gives was you we his... heading out the door soon or something? Yeah, uh, it's called role playing. Don't worry about it. It's called <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> American <laughs> has seed After you, advantage. dear gnome. Oh my god. And the uh, Merrick says, uh, "What should we do, boss?" <laughs> hmm. Yes. Do you want us to come with or stay here? Well, have you completely taught the guards everything they need to do? Ah, uh, well, uh, they're a little slow, you know? Oh, that. I slapped him on the shoulder and I said, Of course you should go with your master. You would abandon him? <laughs> I no, no, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd rather come with, to be honest. I don't like the, the commoners, you know? Which one is this? Is this the halfling speaking? Yeah. Well, I think it's only fair that we be fair. Merrick, I think I said that's the right name. Yeah, you didn't get to come with us last time. And Hasid, you acquitted yourself superbly last time. I think you deserve a rest. You can stay and teach these slow guards how to work the machine. <laughs> oh, thank God. And Maddox, Hasid you can like come with me. Super relieved, and he heads back into town. <laughs> <laughs> Right for the bar. Yeah, that one has the heart of a lion. <laughs> considering he, he almost died the last time. Yeah. It was, uh, you remember he was shaking the whole time. Yeah. Like a wee chihuahua. Uh, yeah. Probably more worried that Bandy was going to shoot him with a rifle. Than, than the wild bang is going up every, every six seconds. <laughs> behind him. All right, let's just track these tracks. Okay. Let's so uh, it, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, there's, it's a very obvious path that they're trailing. Uh, if you, you can make a perception check if you want to try and get a bit more information. But it's a general, it's pretty easy, uh, pretty easy path to follow. Yeah, so I, 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 I do. I take some time. I look at the yep. tracks. I can discern. The numbers are they splitting off in different directions? What's the what's the composition? Is it humans, orcs, uh, dragonborn? Who knows? You know, that's what I'm trying to discern. Kind of there we go. The wizard with that plus zero. <laughs> nice. I rolled a six. Nice. Uh, buddy, are you rolling, or is or are you gonna leave it? I mean, what? I generally just you let the bullets do the tracking for me. You know good point okay so uh everyone yeah. uh, except warren <laughs> or uh, ozdak and bandicash uh, you guys know that they, they, they're not they don't doesn't appear to be splitting off they all look like they're going in the same direction uh, bandicash you're, you're 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 in my way i can't see the tracks <laughs> get out of the only one who made the check uh no no scruffy made it too uh and uh there, oh. there seems to be lots of humans Possibly some elves and dwarves and stuff like that. Just more of the common races. Uh, and there's de there's a lot of kobolds. Uh, Roland, you do know that uh, the footprints heading away from town are much heavier than the footprints coming to town. Like there's a lot more of them. Or like uh, they came here, ate a lot, and got fat and then left? Yes, eating. That's definitely what they did. Man, I just tore down three fish tacos. Damn, there. <laughs> there was, you said there was more that came than left. You said no. The footprints were heavier. Yeah, no, heavier. Oh, they got loot. Yeah, well, that's, that's obvious. Loot. Yes, yes they, they hired a bunch of musicians. They're stuff. carrying a bunch of loots and drums. No, no, no booty. <laughs> booty. My kind of people. <laughs> uh, I like booty for sure. <laughs> Gold? Does that make Bat bottom sense? girls. Yes. Possibly so. <laughs> it seems that there are a lot more people who hey, work They make the rock and world go round. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Once you get started with it, you just gotta go with it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's just again, D&D &D is not a spectator sport. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you guys head south, following yeah. this path. Um, even even Bandigash and Ozdag can follow this path. It's it's right there, all the way south for about twelve miles. Is it and out then, here? Uh, Is this the way? Uh, yeah, just just gen in the general direction south of town. There, uh, a little off the the path, a uh, little way down the path there, it splits off into the grassland. You guys have to follow it through the through the hills off the road. All right, off we go. Uh, about... who's, head, who's, who's, who's gonna march first, second, third, and fourth, and so on? Do we have a marching yeah, yeah, order, yeah. by chance? Yeah, I'm in the back. I guess can I'll go first. This is when uh, music was real. Just place your tokens <laughs> yes, wherever you like near each other. Where are we down here? Oh, on the map, the greenest map, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just use this. Okay. Uh, Bandy Gash, you can put Merrick wherever you want him. Where the hell am I on this map? I don't even know my own damn token. What do I look like? Um, uh, are you on there? Oh yeah, here you are. Yeah. Let me take that symbol. Is that me? The it's yellow dots. That's you. Okay. Where's that dot? Got it. Yeah, I have a beard, right? That looks like a dwarf. Um, oh, here I, see. I got yeah. it! Yes! I found it! Finally! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dang it. <laughs> yeah, so place yourselves in a line in whatever order you want. And that can be your marching order. On the road. Yeah, on the road. So, Sounds okay, I'll, like, I'm like second or third. Be in front of me, because I'm in the back. Who's first here? Click on your token, who's uh, first? <laughs> oh my god, this is complicated, alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll assume, I'll assume heal this first. And then yeah. the rest of you can just... Uh, yeah, okay. There we go. You can just walk right under my under my legs, little gnome. <laughs> you know, I, I really All wish right. people on Twitch would would laugh at you or say something if <laughs> if you if you're obviously fucking up. <laughs> to, you need, to, you to, need to use like to use strong to... language. Just I'm, uh, something happens. I I had the the display capture set up for the wrong monitor, so it was showing my OBS <laughs> and the chat and and you know That's... and I got the overlay. <laughs> so well, it, was, if it wasn't I were showing watching, everything. I would not say a thing. I would wait and see what the hell was really going on behind the scenes. Thankfully, we were having some really funny dialogue <laughs> going on. <laughs> you drop the drop the curtain to the wizard. I'm not going to tell you that. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right, Warren, you're watching this. This is what it was looking like. Now, tell me if this is better. <laughs> Wait thirty seconds. Okay. Catch up. <laughs> oh, wow! It's a lot of. Yeah, you got a lot of weird things going on there. <laughs> no, that was not better. <laughs> and I'm like, I kept, I kept maximizing OBS, and of course, you know, you get that window and window thing, and I'm like, and something doesn't seem right, but it's just not registering with me. And then, oh, wait, I can't see the map. <laughs> uh, I am a pro streamer. I've been doing this yes. for years. <laughs> All right, uh, so back to the story. <laughs> yeah, so you guys have been traveling about 10 miles to the south along the, the hills and the, the grassland. And uh, in the distance, you all spot uh, some smoke rising. <laughs> as you as you get closer to this, this smoke, uh, you realize it's a camp. Maybe some of the, the raiders have formed a camp. Well, let's, let's stop, guys, and uh, who would be best equipped to uh, sneak up and, uh, you know. I am fairly sneaky. I I push Merrick forward. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What, with, with, the sword, with the sword point. You've been volunteered. <laughs> he, he runs off uh, and then disappears into the grassland, and you lose sight of him. After about uh, 15 to 20 minutes or so, he, he appears again out of the grass. Uh, and he, uh, he says, uh, there's, a, there's only a small group of them, just a couple humans and a bunch of, bunch of the, the red dragon things. We could probably take them. Kobolds. The, the, the little bitty, like my size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, okay. Yes. No, those aren't scary at all. Uh, were they just on the road, or are they in the grass too? They made a they made a little camp on a hill. Mm. They're fighting with each other. Oh, dissension in the ranks. I think not we like, can use not that. Not like killing each other, but they they're not happy. That's, that still counts as dissension. So what were they arguing about exactly? Do you know? Uh, the the humans don't like the kobolds, and the humans think each other are bad at cooking chicken. Ooh, Could yes, that, that that's brought down many a party. Could we work that to our advantage somehow or another? Maybe we could have them fight each other for us. Or do we just want to go in there and waylay them and talk to whoever survives? I kind of like killing them. I kind of figured that was going to be the answer. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm more likely to do this. Let's see if we can uh, surround them. Uh, you said they're on top of a hill. Is there any cover for us to sneak up close, or are we obviously going to be seen if we try to approach? The grass is pretty good cover if you're small like me. So, uh, Bandy Gash and maybe Hilde can hide in the grass. But, uh, there's a couple of rocks here and there, but it's pretty open generally. But they're not really paying attention, so maybe we can get in close before they notice. Sounds good. Let's, uh, yes, let's let's try and surround them. Maybe give them an opportunity to uh, surrender. And if not, then we let our bloodthirsty dwarven friend get to uh, his quota of bashing skulls in for the day. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so anyone who wants to sneak, I'm going to need a stealth check. Oh, this is going to go so well. I'm telling you, like, this is just great. I, um... Uh, I'm not the most stealthiest of individuals. I think I will we'll hang back. Dandy Geist's accent is developing into a small disgruntled Spaniard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, this is great. Uh, I'm telling I, you, this is great. I, I have I a minor it. three to my, uh... My deck, so you definitely don't want me trying to stealth around. <laughs> I'm like falling uh, down. Constantly. Don't get me drunk; you'll regret it. <laughs> I don't know what the Spaniard is that you'll be speaking of. Make him a miniature Inigo Montoya. Oh, <laughs> you killed. Me. Oh, yeah, that's so true. Okay, so, oh, buddy. Yep. Okay, putting Bandy Gash. Hey, so this guys, is, this is par for the on. course for me. I don't know what you're talking about. Thankfully, <laughs> the grass hides you short fellows pretty well. <laughs> Warren, at least you're better than There's just random clanking <laughs> happening in the field. Yeah, but you know there's random clanking he, uh, in the field. I love that you also rolled the back. Yes. Hey, are, you oh, wearing, wow. are you wearing chain? Uh, yes, but again, I have a very low stat and dexterity. So, so you, oh, you have, have a disadvantage. You have disadvantage. So you actually rolled a zero. Rolled zero. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's, so he's uh... That's, I'm staying back. I'm not going yeah. forward. I'm not, I'm yeah. not foolish. Uh, <laughs> so everyone else is moving forward, and Ozdak is, is remaining behind somewhat. And, <laughs> yes. uh, so thankfully the the grass hides Buddy... Oh, sorry. Um, Kildare and bandy gash pretty well so it's not too bad uh as you get closer they are they're arguing with each other quite a lot like they they're probably not going to notice you if you get go up there the kobolds have moved a bit further south i'll show you guys the map now and uh are currently sitting on top of a rock eating some chicken i totally heard that wrong but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'll drag you guys onto the map. And you guys can... Uh, this uh, this hill along the... This ridge along the, the top and bottom is, uh, is... Is not steep. You can just walk up it. So you guys come in from over here.
and the grass is taller and straighter too. Uh, up on this little hill, the grass is kind of uh, thinned out a bit where they've made their camp, but all, all around it is the the grass is a bit longer, and you guys can hide. Oh, it's going up. It's a hill. Okay. Yeah. They have not noticed you yet. Do we want to attack the cobalts first, or the humans? Seriously, that's a small dance. One of the other ones? I think uh, the humans, because there's maybe a chance the cobalts will be like, eh. I think, I think, I think the cobalts are definitely a, a, a lesser threat. We'll just so, throw them a chicken. Well, the human or might know more info. Right. So do you think we should just, what do we do, kill the kobolds first and take the humans captive? Take them all, I don't know. Dude, so, can, can, could anybody, you know, like, act like they're one of the humans or kobolds and kind of create a tension between them? Maybe the humans say the kobolds are worthless and should be cooked, like, for dinner or, or vice versa? Maybe we could... So that, I don't know. Have, That's a so I have minor illusion. I can do that. Oh, there you go. Ah. Maybe show the humans cooking a cobalt on their fire. Oh. No, I, I will just make sound, sound, um, I'll make a sound like the, the cobalts are talking, or the humans are I'll talking. I'll help you. The Your bard will help you with a performance. There you with go. an acting performance. I'll act like a little cobalt eating chicken. Can I do that, Joey? <laughs> You sure can try. That'd be awesome. We get to fight each other. <laughs> There's my inner illusion. I can create a sound. Its volume can range from a whisper to a scream. It can be your voice or someone else's voice, a lion's roar, a beating of drum, or any other sound you choose. Okay, so where where are you casting this from? Where you are now? Oh, you're going to be 30 feet from where you want the sound to come from, huh? I was thinking of sneaking around to the other side. You can sneak around the top here. This uh, this is as far as the map goes, but the hill does. There, there is grass. Yeah, on the, on I was going to stay on the bottom side of the hill, sneak all the way around, and come up to that bush, and then throw okay. the sound on the other side of the humans. So uh, over over here-ish, near this tree. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Your your stealth was fine. You can do that. So you managed to get over to this side without being spotted, and you want to cast Minor Illusion. <clears throat> Jolly, can yes. I um, be with him? Yep. Just kind of stealth along with him? Ah, uh, yeah, you're, you're fine as well. You had a 20. Okay. okay, so you guys are over there, and you want to... So what? What do you? what is the sound that you are making? I, wanna, I imagine I know what a football sounds like. Um, so you're making a cobalt sound? Having fought them. Yeah, I'm thinking, would it be better like, to do a cobalt sound or a human? Because the humans are all there, they're gonna know. Like, we could, you could do a cobalt, you could, we could be two cobalts talking. You could start it off and then I could back it up with a, if I speak back here, it'll sound like there's depth, you know? It's humans! Those humans suck ass! Let's kill them all! Something like that. I, I, I don't think you can speak unless you can cast the spell. No, no, after you cast your spell, I'll say, like, I'll yell something out in Cobalt. Oh, but then it'll sound like it's coming from where we are. Oh, that's not where you're going to make it sound right. Okay. Well, you want me so, to sneak over here further and I can yell something out in Cobalt at a little location away? Like, I can be. Near the bush? Over here? Sure. And then after you do your spell, I'll yell something out. Can I sneak over here? Behind the cobalts? And then I can just start kicking cobalt ass if it comes down to that. Or I can Fireball. run away. Because I'm fast. I don't know, do you want to be that far away? Uh, well, um... About the vine smite their ass. I want to be You're far enough far away that the humans... That. that the humans don't, uh... Do you speak Draconic? Just, I'll just comment. repeat. I'll just repeat what I hear. I'm a bard. I'm just trying to give you some advantage here with my performance abilities and stuff. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like a kobold. 
and I'm gonna throw a little draconic in there when I talk. And also, I want to make it sound like they're they're saying things to you. You know, like when you talk too loud on purpose so someone can overhear you. Yep. That's what so I'm I'll, doing. So, where are you originating this sound from? Um, I might have to get closer up there to do it. Can I still hide pretty well? Uh, once you once you come up onto the hill, you're technically out of cover now, so it'll be easier for them to spot you. But you can still try it if you want. I'm gonna go around a little further to the south. Okay. And like creep up to the edge of that hill as far as I can. Yep. Like, yeah. And I'm gonna make the sound like it's coming, like like whispers, like it's not too loud, but from where the fire is, so they can hear it. Are you speaking in draconic? I want to mix draconic with English or with, with common. So, okay. like I said, like uh, and it's it's gonna be almost like it's on the wind kind of sound. Yep. And it says. Uh, Wow, 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 those stupid humans are I'm, I'm never gonna help us. They're so idiots. Wow, wow. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> I'll yeah. just be like, you see that again, Jima. One of the cultists picks up a rock that's next to him and hurls it over at the at the kobold pack. And they kind of scurry around and and spit back. Uh, another one looks at the campfire where the sound was coming from, really confused. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Is that a cantrip for you, Roland? Yeah. Do you want to flip it now and we'll do it in human? We'll come back here and say something in human like, ah, I can't believe I missed that worthless piece of shit. Let's take another shot or something like that. Just to ramp it up. Yeah, I can try to sneak around. I'm going to try and sneak around I'll here. Do and... I'll do that. Okay. Guess I'd have to get a little closer, yeah? Yep. So make me another stealth check. Okay. Same. <laughs> Is that where you were, Scruffy? Um, not up on them, back up against yep. the... I'm over here. So, but I am going to let Roland pass me. I'm just going to kind of hang here. There. The, the color next to my name is red, and I have a red dot on my token. Um, can you see names yet? Uh, no. new? Okay. Hmm. May have to do it for each individual token? Yeah, oh. you do. Hang on, I got it. Sorry, I just I just don't know who's who yet. No, that's fair enough. Um, that should work. Yeah, there we go. So, am I about right there, Jolly? Ah, uh, yep. Depends on where you want to be. Thirty feet nice. is about right there. I'm going to talk like a heat regular human and have it originate from that point and say, Damn, I was really trying to hit one of those stupid kobolds with a rock. I wish I could just kill them. Where, where was it? Oh. About okay. there -ish. I'll yell up, Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to take another shot! Okay. Uh, all right. 
Okay, so the kobolds get pretty angry, and they, they kind of, uh, a few of them step down and start throwing rocks and spitting. And uh, they get a little closer, and uh, a couple of the humans uh, notice this, and they start standing up, and a couple, they step over here to grab their weapons from the rock. Uh, awesome. The other one, this one here, the closest one, uh, looks over in your direction, Scruffy, and spots you. Ah. Uh oh. There are intruders! Damn. It was a good idea, though. Damn it. And the kobolds look over. Uh, a few of them are still, I uh, haven't even noticed, and they're still throwing rocks and stuff at the cultists. But uh, this, this guy here. In the front, uh, has has called you out, so I'm gonna need an initiative. Okay. Let me pull up that turn order real quick. I don't know mine wouldn't didn't close, but I got a twenty. Yeah, that's right. I'll put you on there. there. Mm. Um, did you click your token? I did. Let me do it again. Right. Just for the hell of it. There he goes. But it was three. That was my initiative. Though I'll, I'll adjust that because you know I have a minus three to my. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bandy gas natural twenty. Right. And. I was I was very bored in the grass, uh, just waiting for it, it to go to hell like hell. I knew it would. This is not bad though. They're gonna turn and face us, and then you guys are gonna come from behind, and they'll be like, "What?" Uh, and Merrick. Mm. <clears throat> okay, uh, Bandigash. You uh, see, uh. uh Something spurring from the kobolds and the humans, uh, but you you heard uh, you heard him call out that intruders are him. So, uh, do I have good line of sight on any of the humans, uh, or are they got some cover from? Yep. So these two guys here in uh, whoop, that's not a ruler. These two guys here have a little bit of cover from that uh, that little pop up tent thing, but uh, you can. You can see most of the kobolds, fine. And this uh, is over here, sorry. Well, I'm gonna and go after go. this kobold. Okay. Whoever I can see the best. Once they start coming for me, then I'll start gunning them. So, are they going to get Zadondo Kanden? I think that hits. <laughs> that obliterates. <laughs> yeah, so so this guy this guy's picked up a rock and he's about ready to, to hurl it at this cultist and he swings his arm back and as he as he goes to throw it this this loud bang echoes out in the into the area and he he's just he he flies back towards his friends as the bullet hits him. That's gotta terrify a few of the creatures around. And that's a reload. Rolling. Hey, you want to move anyone? Handy having a gunslinger on the crew. What I do is eleven. I mean... We'll miss. Uh, who are you shooting at? Cultist. Yeah, that'll miss. Yeah. So you take a which which cultist? The the one that spotted. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he, he, you take a shot and he's already looking your direction. He steps out of the way as it comes past. Okay. Uh, you moving anywhere? Um, yeah, I'll move back down the hill. Okay. Uh, kobolds, uh, having heard the loud boom, to, to and one of them dies. Yep. Uh, they all begin to scatter and run around. Uh, this one runs over here. Just kind of going off in all all sorts of different directions. Oh, wow, they're just running, huh? 
Fascinating. Okay. <coughs> Cultus. This one, it, he runs over to the rock. Spends his turn getting to his weapons and equipping them. Uh, this one does the same. Uh, this one, closer to the rock, is close enough that he can get his his bow and fire at uh, Bandigash. That's why I don't like going first sometimes, because then I could have had some good tar targets with the humans, but all right. That's a 22 to hit. Hi! Wow, that's that's seven damage. Is this the guy Hi. that's dead? Sorry, say that again. Is is this guy dead? No, he's unwounded. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, he's going so to... So he's been wounded, you're saying? Okay. No, he's fine. No, he's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, the only one that was wounded died immediately, and that was this kobold down here. Oh, right. okay. I thought it was a human. Sorry. Um, <sighs> this cultist moves around the tent because they're all blocking the path, and he's going to head over and spend his turn getting his weapons. Uh, killed it. Yeah. I'm about to move right here. Uh... Yeah. I curse at him. You beat your ass. <laughs> oh, beat your ass. Scruffy? This oh, word, though. Right. Nice. Let's see. I'll go ahead and... Um... Stay right here about midway and take a shot at this guy with a mm -hmm. short bow. Short bow shot. Miss. Seven will miss. But I will um, holler behind me. Um, your friend Roland, the targets on these humans are as big as whales. There's no way you can miss, and I'll give him a bardic inspiration. D6. Alright. Merrick moves forward and takes Did you a give bardic inspiration to? To you. Oh, cool. Merrick moves forward in front of this bush and is going to take a quick shot at one of the humans. That'll hit. Three damage. All right. Buzz deck. Okay, which human was this hit? Uh, this one here. Okay. Ozak moves to there, and then he will use Sacred Flame on that particular human. Okay. That's a... That <laughs> sucks. <Well, laughs> <laughs> That's horrid, oh my god. He rolled a 14, so he takes... <laughs> uh, he, still, he takes the one damage. Oh wait, no, it, is it uh, yes. save or no damage? Yes. Save yeah. or no damage. Okay, yeah. yeah. So he... Uh, <laughs> just... <laughs> What is your what does your sacred flame look like normally? A fizzle. <laughs> a fizzle. Apparently. When it when it's working properly, what is it? What's it? What's it look like? I I was uh, actually looking that information up now. Uh, it looks like uh, sacred sunburn is what it looks like. Right. Uh, Those Fourth of July sparklers at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh almost a. Like whitish blue color when it uh, strikes out you know uh, very jagged you know the uh jagged lightsabers that the the, the, the in the last series of movies that the uh jelly had that jagged edge it kind of looks like that but in a blue oh. white color okay so the the clouds part and this it's just like a ray of light it hits him and he, he kind of looks up and shuts his eyes a bit and totally <laughs> well waiting for it <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of weirded out that there's a light now, but yeah, nothing yeah. happens. Bandy Gash. Mm -hmm. I, uh, which one was it that that uh, closed his eyes? Ah, uh, this this front one. All right, closing your eyes in battle is not a good idea. 
18 will definitely hit. <laughs> yep, you are. Uh, this guy. This guy takes a chance. Takes the, the the wrong chance to look up at the sky, and you hit him straight in the back, and he gets pushed flat up against this rock in front of him. See, see, it did help. So there, <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. I'm, I just can't imagine how much kick that thunder cannon has every time you shoot that. Right, I just imagine Bandy Gas just getting yeah, like, it takes a, like a, a skidding them back shoulder. like three feet, like a kid <laughs> with a shotgun. Yeah, with the thunder cannon. Blowing off the feet. He's got special yeah. padding. He's he's wearing the scale <laughs> mail. He's yeah. The first time got... I went hunting, we went hunting in Louisiana. I uh, shot a rifle and the uh, it kicked back so hard that the scope cut my eyebrow and I bled like a stuck pig. <laughs> we call that yeah. Hands. Uh, you know, it's 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 kind of like those those back holes. His his backpack actually has these little tripods that come out and dig into the dirt. And... Ooh. <laughs> Are you moving anywhere, Bandy Gesh? I am staying right where I am. All right, rolling. Yeah, you have um, inspiration. Remember? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot at that cobalt that's closest to me. Okay. Uh, how many times can I use the inspiration? Once. An eleven hit a cobalt. Uh, you have to use it before. Oh wait, you can use it after you know if you hit, right? No, you can use it after you roll, but you before you know if you hit. So you can uh, use it now, if you want. Sure. Ah, uh, that'll that'll do it. You only, you needed a twelve. Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, and so yeah, you you shoot uh, a bow at him and. Right before you take your shot, you, you think about what Scruffy just told you, and you line up the shot, and you hit him, and it's exactly what you needed to take him down. And he kind of flies back and falls into that bush there. Okay. Scruffy leans back and does a, that wink that <laughs> the tooth. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, did you want to move anywhere? Yeah, I ducked down, right back down the hill. Okay. Get some cover. Kobolds, they they they're still scattering. This one, these two behind the rock, they're gonna uh, use their slings to throw some rocks at Roland. Uh, you have a little bit of cover. That's uh, what's your AC? Seventeen. Okay, this one just hits you. Four damage. You said four. Yep, four damage. And then the other one. Uh, is is also hits you for three damage. Awesome. Um, yeah, they I'm gonna use really well. shield. Okay, so uh, uh, the second one misses. As yeah, as this. Uh, what does it look like? And you cast shield. The first one can miss too. Yeah, or he can cast it as a. Re we would have had hit, to set it. They hit between. me with with the cover because yeah. how much how much um, AC do I get with cover? You would get two. And uh, he rolled a 19 on the first one. Okay. And the second one was a 20. Awesome. Um, it's just like a shimmering shield that kind of uh, appears around it. It's it's not like crazy special. Okay. Yeah. So the so did you want to do that on the first one? Uh, sure. Okay. Yep, so uh, they, they fling these rocks at you and you see them coming in and you just erect this barrier around you and they, the rocks just bounce off into the grass. Uh, the rest are scattering. How much damage did I take from the second one? Uh, the, if you if you cast shield, it lasts until your, your next turn. Oh, so okay. So the second one bounces so off as well. Yep. Uh, so the, this guy's going to flee off into the grass down this way. Uh... And he kind of, they they kind of hit low when they get to the grass and start scurrying around. So any that remove uh, that go away from the the screen are in the grass. This guy is gonna run up over this way. And uh, that's his turn. Cultists. So they now have their weapons. This one up the, on the top of the north is going to fire uh, a, a short bow at 
Kill dick. I say go suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a seven. Oh, good. Uh, he, yeah, he's distracted by that quick comment you flung at him. And uh, yeah. misses you. It flies straight past you and lands in front of Oz deck on the ground. Uh, this one, mo this one to the south of him moves down here. Is going to take a shot at Merrick. That's a seventeen. That'll hit. He takes a quick shot to the gut. Embraces himself. Uh, this last one steps forward up to Buddy and will attack with a scimitar. That's a seven to hit as well. Yeah, you, you just deflect it off your shield or or your armor if you're holding your pike out. Kill the Europe. It's you, buddy. Time time to demonstrate yeah. in that effing up that you were talking about. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of think about. It's trying to. Uh, um, a divine smite. So you have to make a melee attack first if you want to smite. Uh -oh. There it is. Okay, a twenty-six will hit. How much damage does that do? All right. No. So uh, you hit this guy with the longsword, and uh, you you run it up through his chest, and he he kind of spits up blood in your face. And then he, he goes limp on the blade. You just didn't want to smite him? No, sir. Okay. I, so he I falls didn't... to the ground there. Are you still have movement? If you want? Yeah. I'm gonna move. Uh, no, I only have half my movement. Right? No, you got all your movement. Alright, okay. Right over here. I only have one attack, though, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. I'll move over here. Okay. Which bitch? <laughs> Scruffy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm it's scruff. kitty time. It's gonna be another <laughs> sharp <-o> shot. <laughs> sharp <-o> shot. <laughs> That'll hit. Did I hit him? Did I hit him? Yep. Eight damage. To heal. Oh, somebody's, somebody's hitting. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kind of... He's looking over at uh, at Merrick right now. He, it seems like he forgot that you shot at him before. And you, you pin him right in the back between the shoulders. Nice. Ouch! Almost falls down on the ground. Uh, you can still move, and you have a bonus action. I know. Um, uh, you sure might as well come a little more central into the. What have I got? 30 feet? 5, 10. 5. I yell out. God shot! And then, and then spin in place for a second. It makes a big difference, you know, the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Pew, pew. Right? Yeah. So what, you, just, you did it like a flip or something? Pew, pew. No, like a stand and twirl. Okay. You know, like <laughs> a, a bit full of on ballerina twirl. <laughs> <laughs> nice. With my short bow pointing out, you know, like a Cupid arrow thing. Yep. Who's going to get some loving next? And that'll end my turn. All right. I just have this image of like the, when the cat's afraid of the cucumber, like you jump real high. <laughs> 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 Don't you guys be coming at me with no cucumbers, damn you. <laughs> okay, uh, Merrick stays close to Bandy Gash, and he's going to take a shot at this last, oh, this, this human over here, not the last one. I don't care what oh, she says. I'm not your daddy. All right. Yeah, and he, t he finishes him off after you hit him right in the back. He puts one in the same place, but on the front. And he goes down. 
Mm. <coughs> He's gonna step back. How's the deck? <sighs> Let's see here. Da -da -da. Everybody's out of my range. Oh, I got 60. I could use the range, I guess. Let me see here. Uh, I guess I'll do that. But I wanted to actually get the melee range, but oh well. So let me do this real quick. I'll just do another Sacred Flame. And... Wow, it's not doing too well with that tonight. Uh, I'm assuming that's on this guy? Yes, it is. Okay. And I'm also going to move 30. Uh... Uh, he rolled an 11, so he takes the full damage. Yay! Locked into combat with uh, with Hildir, and he doesn't see it coming. It's radiant oh, light yeah. plants down on him from above. Yeah, so yeah, my, my of course my deity saloon, so it's kind of like a the whole idea is kind of a moon bluish like a light. Beam. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Strikes down at it. Okay. Uh, and then I move, and then I move southward towards the cobalt. Okay. That's it for me. Andy Gash. Alright. Uh, our dwarven friend is about to impale our last human. I got no sight of any kobolds, do I? Uh, there are, there's one um, kind of on the rock, but he's uh, he's got cover from you. You could attempt a shot. Take it. I don't care. Just hit me, hit me. Uh, you do see this one here, though. He's uh, he's not currently in the grass. Hiding him. Uh, yeah, I'll still move. Well, that's right, you're a gnome. I thought you are a human. I was like, you can shoot right over top of me at those guys. <laughs> I'll take a sh I'll take a shot at that kobold. Okay. Ah, uh, the one over here. Yeah, that one, right? Okay. Far yeah, you left. hit, and easy enough, same as usual. A, a loud bang and a dead kobold. You're quite proficient at killing little red dragons. Yapping annoys me. I assume your bonus action is a reload? Eh, yep, reload. And okay. that's it for me. I'm rolling. I'm gonna shoot the cobalt that I have good line of sight on, the one not next to the rock here. Yep. I am just not hitting them today. Miss. Yep. Kinda swerves out of the way as the arrow flies past. Cobalt's no, are up. Not my, I'm Unless saving my higher rolls for later. Oh yeah, <laughs> when it matters. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move 30 feet. Okay. Hopefully, out of sling range. <laughs> Maybe. All right. The cobalt's are up. This guy on top of the rock. He's gonna get up right on top where he can see everybody. Uh, Scruffy is the closest. He's gonna sling a shot over that way. That's a 13 to hit. Nope. Yep, so uh, as you're doing your little spins, this just rock just flies straight past you. Missing you completely. Uh, this cobalt does the same thing. That's a 9 to hit. That also misses. Yeah, they, are, they, they cannot hit the, the majestic, graceful, twirling Scruffy. Ta -da! <laughs> a kobold pops out from the grass. In the move. South it's the movie west. of the summer. Kobolds and he's in the gonna grass. sling a shot over it uh, at Ozdak. He's a little far away, so it's gonna be a bit hard for him to hit. That's a seven. Yay! It's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Ozdek quickly ducks to one knee and drops down to a knee and it flies over his head. Possibly hitting Bandagash. <laughs> Just do the my hands. <laughs> Just the splits, yes. How low did you <laughs> Does a pirouette and, you know, avoids the damage. Yeah, 
<laughs> He's a lot more nimble than you all thought. <laughs> then falls down, clumsily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that rolling? I said, how low did he duck? <laughs> low enough. <laughs> I, I need I need to get Bandigash equipped up with that uh, suit of armor that Jackie Chan had in uh, Little Warrior. I think that's the name of the movie. Yeah, we, he he pretended to be uh, Battlefield dead, and he had this fake arrow that would pop up. <laughs> so it's like he was shot through <laughs> shot through from straight from the back. He needs to and, engineer that. And then every every so often it would just go off when he didn't want it to. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, another cobalt pops out. Seems like he was trying to follow Roland. He's gonna take a slingshot at Roland. That's a twenty-one to hit. Six damage. Oh damn. Yep. Rolling well today. On well, against you. Just done the rolling well. Let it increase it by like 15. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last cultist is gonna swing it, buddy. That's a uh, 21 to hit. 3 damage. Yeah. Alright. 